K-I-L-R Taylor Games Hey there gamers and simmers and pilots, I am the Killer Gamer and here we are in Flight Simulator 2004 or Flight Simulator 9, FS9 as some people will call it. And we are reproducing the flight from Elma Municipal to Bowerman and we're going to do it in FS9. And I downloaded uh, some some scenery which I'll have in the description um, it's not gonna make a overall huge difference um, but it did feature Elma in there so I'm actually in an aircraft hangar at the moment so I thought it was relatively cool so I'm gonna go ahead I've got my profile pro flight emulator uh, activated so I'm going to go ahead and turn all that on. Uh, when I can I'll get my thing started here. Get my parking brakes on. All right. So let's go ahead and contact Uni Unicron. Or whiskey, a kilo hotel, Quebec, my traffic test, November 172, Sierra Papa, on the ground at 1650, local IFR, request field advisory. Test November 172, Sierra Papa, means 10 at 10, altimeter is 2980. November 172, Sierra Papa, Roger, thank you. There, there you go. Okay. Let's go ahead and we're going to push back here. It's like I want to use my mouse wheel to zoom zoom out, but I can't. Okay, that should be fine. It's funny in the <laughs> in the uh, tradition of X plane. I actually have my controller hooked up to this. Now, ah, see that tower? That reminds me of the same tower in uh, when I was playing this in Flight Simulator '98. Except it looks a lot better. And here we are, we've got some uh, flight stuff here, uh, fuel, I guess. Okay, this is the stuff that I miss right here. Um, the rain on the windshield. I miss that from Flight Simulator 9. It looks much better, whoops, on there, but I hate this control scheme. Now, do they have the raindrops on the windscreen on, um, on the glass, on the V2? 
view, um, I want to say view screen like it's Star Trek or something uh, with uh, X-Plane or not I can't remember if I saw it or not so here's the scenery here I thought I thought this is very nicely done these are very very cool looking hangers I thought building there and we got a couple of uh, looks like storage areas so I thought that was I, I thought this was uh, pretty nice for a small small airport here now I'm trying to fly here can't you see that now that's definitely different <laughs> it's the houses over there that's looking east all right now if you remember there's supposed to be water in that direction there's not supposed to be houses in that direction and we know that for certain because we looked at a map all right so in real life there's not houses over in that direction. <laughs> maybe in 2004, maybe they fill, maybe they tore up all those houses and they put a lake. I don't know. But there should not be houses over there. So, that is interesting. See, look at this. Not even, not even X plane could, could get the little turn, turn around things over here. Come on, man. Flight Simulator Nine's got it. Of course, this might have been added by whoever worked on this airport. I don't know. The flashing of the uh, rain is kind of kind of hurts to look at. Alrighty. Or whiskey, a kilo hotel, back my traffic test, November 172, year of Papa, departing the area. We'll buy you. Tons of trees up here. Oh, let's see. What do we want here?
don't know. I don't think I'm going to mess with that. <laughs> now, what's funny is that I can, like, boost myself up, but you can't see the nose of the plane. <laughs> Hey, look! It looks like a freeway! With no cars on it! <laughs> this was before they put cars. Stop training. Well, that's always nice. Nice and foggy. All right, we need to. We need to move ourselves this way. I've already got the ILS uh, radio tuned in, so that's where we're that's where home that's what we're homing in on. I've got the uh, real weather turned on, so apparently it's foggy, rainy, or something in uh, Washington State right now. I keep forgetting. I have to check in with the tower. Hilo Hotel, Quebec, Mike Traffic, Cessna, November 172, Sierra, Papa, 5 miles northeast at 1,500. It doesn't take much for this to take my throttle down. Man, I'm getting some great frame rates. Look at this. This is smooth. <laughs> When this senior came out, we're like, wow, this looks great. Now we look at it and it's just kind of like old. This is dated. What were we thinking? We thought this was good. <laughs> look back at the old Commodore 64. Man, we used to think that looked good. It's wrong with us my radio here. Ah, what? 
Why does it do that? I see water. I think the airport's probably on the other side there. use the keypad for the throttle because apparently I set up something I set up the wrong key for throttle down I must have set it up like don't go down a little go down a lot Okay, so here we are. Oh, my outer light just turned on. I'm falling off the radio. Okay, we're flying over. My goodness, no, way off here. I see the airport. Kilo Hotel, back mic traffic, test November 172, Sierra Papa, turning final landing runway 6. the keypad for the Try not to hit a tree. So there we go. There's Bowerman right ahead of us. to hit the water. It still says I'm too high, but it sure doesn't look like it.
this uh, taxiway over here. So here we go, here's Bowerman in Flight Simulator 9. I'm not sure if this is part of the custom scenery or not. It wasn't listed in the uh, thing that I downloaded, so this could just be the base. But whether it is or not, I mean, that's no big deal. But it's interesting to see the uh, similarities. And in case you're wondering, I have the graphics, like, maxed out as far as they can possibly go in this. Because, uh, well, you know, it's an old game, and I can. <laughs> Although the anti-aliasing could be better. Here's that big area here. Things looking a little different. So we got a patch of green grass. say I'm clear of the runway. Hilo Hotel, Quebec, Mike Traffic, Cessna, November 172, Sierra, Papa, clear of the active runway. Yeah, congratulations, she had zero deviations from assigned airways, yay! because nothing was going on. <clears throat> Fortunately, I'm not seeing any actual AI anywhere. I do have it turned on. And I've got World of AI packages installed. <clears throat> But there is, yeah, nothing going on right now, I guess. Not in this area. All right. Well, there we go. So we're here at Bowerman. Just turn this thing off. <coughs> and, uh, well, I guess that concludes this, this, this flight. So I hope you, uh, found this rel relatively, uh, interesting. Just maybe from a retro, uh, standpoint. Man, I can't see. Oh, that's probably because I'm sitting a little too high. How about if we just sink down a little bit here? There we go. Now we can look out. Turned off my airplane so I can't put my flap. Man, this is ugly seating. <laughs> what is that? Leopard skin? <laughs> I guess I guess it's okay. I don't know. But yeah, alright. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this just for uh retro sake or whatever. And um I will check my other versions of Flight Sim to see uh, what other, if I can recreate this flight and other versions of Flight Sim. Um, I did check Flight Simulator 2 from Sublogic and I can't, um, recreate it there because they don't have the airports. 
Uh, even with the, and I checked, with the scenery discs, because you had to um, get the scenery expansion discs, and uh, the one that covers the Seattle area, that area there, it's, it's not there. So um, I did check, because <laughs> I wanted to do this uh, in the Sublogic Flight Simulator 2 with a Commodore 64 and it was the two airports are not in there so darn <laughs> and likewise I'm not going to be able to do it on the Amiga either um, I don't believe it's in there either I'll check but I don't think it's in there um, but I should it should be probably Flight Simulator 5 and if it's in 98 then I'm sure it's in 2000 stuff so uh, we'll check those and eh, you know what why not just check out the different versions and do the same flight and just compare them because hey we can all right well thanks for tuning in and uh we'll see you on another another simulation video another flight take care I hope you had some fun with that trip down memory lane with Flight Simulator 2004 A Century of Flight, aka FS9. Be sure to check out the original flight that I did in Flight Simulator 10, because it's more than just a flight, it's also a virtual tour of the areas as well. It's a little something different than your typical Flight Simulator video. I've also got other simulation videos on this channel, plus new ones that are uploaded every Sim Saturday. So if subscribing and ringing that little liberty bell that they call a notification thingabob is a thing. Have a good and safe flight out there and thanks for watching.